The bombings in Hiroshima and Nagasaki led to a total of deaths of 340,000 people by 1950. And now, Putin put Russia's nuclear forces on alert. It's real danger for modern world. But how deadly is nuclear bombs for humans? The health effects of nuclear explosions are due several mechanisms, 1. Air blast, 2. Thermal radiation, 3. Initial nuclear radiation, 4. And residual nuclear radiation, it is called fallout. 1. Blast is air blast effects similar to those produced by conventional explosives. The shockwave can directly injure humans by rupturing eardrums or lungs or by hurling people at high speed. But for direct injury from the pressure wave is minimal. Because human body can survive up to 2 bar. While most buildings can withstand only a 0.8 bar blast. So, during blast much high risk is injury from collapsing building and flying debris. 2. Thermal Radiation Unlike conventional explosions, nuclear explosion can generate an intense pulse of thermal radiation, which is deadly for humans and can start fires and burn skin. Thermal burns from infrared heat radiation, these would be the most common burn type experienced by peoples who are around blast. 3. Initial radiation, nuclear detonation releases high amount of gamma radiation. If people come in direct contact with fallout, beta burns from ionizing beta radiation will be experienced. Beta radiation is the largest particles, visible to the naked eye, have very high radioactivity. They would be deposited soon after detonation. Beta radiation causes skin burn. But gamma radiation causes deep penetration of radiation in the body. And damages whole body. 4. Fallout. When a nuclear detonation occurs, radioactive agents have close to the ground surface and soil. The debris is carried by the wind and falls back to earth over a period of minutes to hour or days. Radiation has both acute and long-term health effects. Acute effects include radiation sickness or death from high doses of radiation. Greater than one sievert the most important long-term effect of radiation is cancer. There are two types of nuclear warheads. Tactical nuclear weapon which have smaller and explosive power. And strategic nuclear weapons, which are much stronger and can be used against cities, towns, and other larger area targets. But big problem in any nuclear weapon is its radiation which can cause injury and death, not only in short term but also long term it can increase cancer rate in population. Staying indoors is crucial, until after the most dangerous fallout isotope, I-131 decays away to 0.1%. To lessen it from initial quantity, it requires 10 half-lives, which is around 80 days. Although even after 80 days some radioactive particles can stay in the soil.